Welcome back to the Laserbrook Farm. It's fantastic to have you here. I'm Mark. I'm Jake. And today we're going to show you the behind the scenes of getting this tractor stuck. You would not believe how hard it was. Take a look. I started off in two-wheel drive and I just couldn't seem to get it stuck. The area I'm driving in was very saturated with water, quite muddy, and had a lot of rocks and debris that would make it hard to get over, and still, I just couldn't get stuck. This area just wasn't muddy enough. I had to spend a little bit more time and find something that'll really get this tractor stuck. Even with finding all of this fantastic mud, I was still able to get out with just four wheel drive, the diff lock, and turning the wheel back and forth. After a while of driving back and forth in this mud bog, I was able to get things really nice and stuck. Important recovery fact. Always use a line damper, doesn't matter if you have a synthetic rope or steel cable. Always wear gloves, that way when you're pulling on your lead to go hook up to whatever you're hooking up, regardless if it be another vehicle or a tree, don't get any frayed cuts into your hand from that steel line or the synthetic fibers. If you're winching someone out, always want to be in neutral with your foot on the brake, that way you don't damage any of your driver. We had a fantastic time recording this one. I can't believe how hard it was to get that tractor stuck. As fun as we had recovering the tractor and getting it unstuck after we struggled to get it stuck, I do want to make a note, safety precautions as always. Gloves, line damper if you're using the winch, make sure your shaft is tight. Make sure, even if you see something of a, of a teammate, somebody that you're trying to help, hey, throw a set of gloves on, it takes two seconds. We're all in this together. I want to thank you for joining us. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I hope I see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.